So my art appreciation activity will look at an image from the Women of Allah series and the image I'll be looking at in particular is called I Am It's Secret. The image was taken after the revolution. So Shirin had left to live in America before the revolution and she returned after the revolution and basically the series that this image is from is inspired by that visit. So she was shocked to see the changes in society um, and that shock and confrontation served as a large inspiration because this was her first body of mature work. So as part of the art appreciation activity, I want to create a strong concentration on Shirin's use of text throughout this series. Um, so as you can see in the image, text is used on the woman's face. Um, and what it does is it, it gives a significant added meaning. So she says that um, a lot of um, Islamic people relate to literature and so that's why she uses it a lot because it gives them added meaning um, and it's of some significance so it's important that the students understand why the text is is important because we're going to be using that in our art appreciation activity um, so now we'll look at some aspects of the conceptual framework So when we do the art appreciation activity to start with, um, we're going to consider the conceptual framework. So I would first discuss the subject matter. So questions such as who do we think this person is or, you know, what do you first notice when you look at the image? Um, I'd be sure to draw attention to the use of text. So questions like, you know, what do you think this text means or why do you think the artist has placed the text here? And then I might even translate what the actual text says on the image. So um, what it actually is, is it's a poem um, from a woman's perspective about her desire to regain her freedom and her rights. Um, so after I translated that, I'd be asking questions um, or asking the students for further insight. Um, and then I would tie in the second concentration after text, which is Shirin's use of um, the arts to address human rights. Um, and we do this by consulting the conceptual framework from the art or sorry, the audience point of view. So questions for the audience point of view might be, how do you feel when you look at this image? Um, what are some reasons you think that audiences might react differently? So the particular image that we're looking at, I am at secret is banned in some countries. So I'd be asking, you know, why would some audiences uh, feel offended by this image? Do you think, what reasons can you think of? Um, and of course, a strong, strong question to ask and an important question to ask is what story do you think the artist is trying to tell us? Um, you know, what reasons do you have for, for thinking this? Um, so after considering the remaining elements of the conceptual framework, students will have a sound understanding of Shirin's art, her intentions, and most importantly, gain inspiration to create their own piece. So they're going to be focusing on human rights and the use of text as Shirin does. Um, and most importantly, that text has to add meaning to the image. Okay, so for the art practice activity, students will create a photograph inspired by the image looked at during the art appreciation activity. So what they're going to do is draw on aspects of Shirin's work, discussed, um, and they're going to use text as part of the image to add additional meaning. So we're going to create an image um, that is representing some form of human rights, and they're going to use text um, within that image as Shirin does to add significant meaning. So students will have the opportunity to use um, a range of materials and tools. I don't really mind how they add the text as long as it's doing its job and adding significant meaning. So I'll give you some examples of some images I've created. Um, the first one is an image of myself and what I've done is I've printed a poem onto projector paper and used a projector to um, project the words onto my face and then I've taken a photo of that and done some editing to get a different colour. Um, so the poem reads, take the blinders from your vision, take the padding from your ears and confess you've heard me crying and admit you've seen my tears. Yes, my drums are beating nightly and the rhythm never change. Equality and I will be free. So the issue that I have um, focused on is gender equality. So the next image takes the same focus, but it's a little bit different. So 
instead of a poem on this image I've just written a statement on my face and um, instead of the projector I've used face paint so as you can see this image has because I am a girl so both images um, have used text to add meaning um, the image alone I think uh, give a powerful message and then the text adds on something for the audience to think about so that's what I want the students to be doing is thinking about the relevance of the text so that's the most important part